Hello and welcome back to Sailing East of the Sun. Um, I guess this is the first episode of season two because, uh, well, the summer season has ended and really so much has changed in our situation uh, since the last three, four weeks um, that uh, I think it's good to start with a little recap of what's happened so far and then to pick it up uh, from there. So, um, well, it started all about a year ago when me and Mary moved to Sri Lanka and started sailing. Yeah, so getting way too enthusiastic there already again. My God, such a beautiful place. Uh, but then, of course, we had to move back to Amsterdam, uh, well, to Holland, to our own boat sailing east of the sun, which we bought right before we went to Sri Lanka. Uh, a real fixer-upper project. And uh, so then, of course, we spent the summer uh, rebuilding her and just doing lots and lots of sailing near Amsterdam. And finally, we even got married on our beautiful east of the sun and uh, after that um, we got a few really beautiful opportunities which um, in the end resulted in where we are today and it's with a little bit of pain in our heart but with very good memories that uh, here we were saying goodbye to our previous boat um, as uh, Renka and his girlfriend are taking off and hopefully are going to have a beautiful time uh, sailing her much much more in the future and we make our transition to our new home Enter Spirit.
Welcome on board guys! Probably the first thing that you notice when you step inside is how extremely spacious this boat is, especially comparing to our first boat if you saw it before. So for the length of 12 meters this boat has extremely wide beam. That's why you have this feeling that you can almost dance inside. So for the kitchen we went completely next level by locking Mary down in the kitchen. So you can actually as you see use this device. I guess it's like a safety lines or something. What is that safety straps? Yes yeah, it's safety it's straps. For cooking at big seas. Okay. But being serious, we have quite a lot of upgrades on this boat comparing to previous one. For example, built-in fridge with actually a freezer inside of it and a cooler. Amazing. It's quite deep. Um, yeah, for me personally, one of the things that really makes a difference is the oven because for me it creates really homey feeling when you bake something like banana bread in the morning. It's just cool, lots of different. Uh, here we have double sink and actually one of the best upgrades that we have for it is that we have electric pressure. Look, water power! <laughs> water and uh, we don't need to work with our foot to, to use the pump. Mm. Yes. That was a really long way to the salon, but welcome to the salon guys! As you can see it's very spacious, you're already sitting here and... Just to demonstrate, feeling very nice and cozy. Um, here behind me is a very nice wine compartment. Mm. Take a closer look because this is something that I'm really proud of. When we just came to this boat, the upholstery had some kind of African disco vibe and I didn't like it. What to do when? Ah, look right there. Right? From there, from there, to there. Oh. So, for two days I was working on a new one and I'm really proud of it. And if you want some tips of how to make it cheap and nice, I will share with you in the next videos. And what is really cool about this salon is this table. Because this part of the table not only folds, but it also goes down and it creates by putting a pillow on it, really cool lounge. And of course here we have our private library with a beautiful reading couch. Right here you can see the chart table, which mostly Florian uses because here's all the control panel, navigation, memory phone, pretty much everything that we need on the sailboat. My kingdom! I would like some extra salami with that, yes? Thank you! It's winter outside and it's really really chilly. That's why the most used button on this boat is this one. It's called Vibasto and basically it's a built-in heater or as I call it central heating. And when I'm cold, the only thing I need to do is basically to flip the switch and in less than 10 minutes it turns our boat in a toasty little oven. And if you follow me here, you will see the bathroom and the rest of the boat. Uh, welcome, welcome! And here you can see another sink, also with an electric pump and the big advantage of this bathroom is the mirror. Mm -hmm. And on another side you can actually see the toilet, but mm -hmm. I need to show you. Okay, so here is a regular boat toilet and actually some built-in compartment that we use for wardrobe. And so here behind this door you can actually find the kingdom of sleep. Lots of compartments that are also used for water. 
Hello, mister. Do you know how to get to the library? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. So if you guys follow me outside, I will show you a really cool feature that we have on this one. So here you can see really spacious outside lounge. Mm -hmm. And right behind me, there is a back compartment that we use now mostly for storing sales, but it can be also a bedroom for three people. Lots of stuff in there. So, that was it for this episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that really helps us to get more views. Um, also, next week we'll be looking a lot more at our plans for traveling and the various modifications that we hope to make on Spirit. Um, also, uh, check out our website sailingeastofthesun.com and we also have a patreon page now uh, that's uh, patreon.com slash sailing east of the sun so if you want to help us out support us in some way uh, please go there there's also some nice goodies that you can get uh, through supporting us so uh, yeah we really hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, we hope to see you again next week